Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to add text over your videos in iMovie. Now, if you don't know, iMovie did recently release a pretty big update. I have a whole video on that. Um, but in that update, they released a bunch of new features, which added a bunch of new ways to add text over your videos. So I'm going to be covering all the bases of how to add text in iMovie. So let's go into iMovie and as you can see I have three different projects so all of these projects are different types so um, if you go to start new project you'll see you have three different types of movies you have magic movie which I have here you have a storyboard where I have here and then just a regular movie which I have here so these all have different ways of adding text and titles over your videos so that's what we're going to be covering in this video I'm going to start off with just a regular movie since this is what we're kind of used to with previous updates. Um, so we're going to go in there and click on edit and then you just have your basic timeline here that we're used to in iMovie. So adding text is really easy. You just tap on your clip, go to the text section here and then you see different types of text that you can add. And some of these texts also work with um, different themes that you have for your videos. So if you go to your settings option here, you'll see you have different themes that you can choose. Um, so your theme will dictate one part of the text. So if I go to set it to neon and click on done, then you'll see now I have a neon type text here at the corner here. And then again, if I switch it to maybe playful, you'll see that text option now changes to the appropriate theme so yeah this last text box is um only changeable by the type of theme that you have but that's the theme text i just want to go to simple text that you have here so as you can see all of these have different types of transitions um, and looks to them but the fonts don't really play a role the only thing you need to decide on first is just what type of style you like so if you like the chromatic style we're going to click on that one this is what it's going to look like then you can go ahead and go to that text area and edit more of the text with these options here. So you can change the color, but I'm going to keep it at white, but you can change it to any other color on this grid. Um, you can also go to the spectrum sliders, or you can use the eyedropper tool here to pick up a color that is in your video here. But I'm just going to stick with plain white for this text. And then you can go to this AA and then you can change the font. Um, now, this is something I've mentioned previously in these types of videos. Um, you have these font options here, but you can also install your own fonts on your phone um, by using an app like any font. I have a whole video on how to install custom fonts on your phone. If you want to check it out, I'll have that in the eye up top. I'm not going to be covering it in, in this video, but there is an option to install fonts on your phone. So you have more font options than just the ones that they give you. So yeah, that's how you basically do go about about editing the color and um, font these three dots here give you some more options as well you can turn on text shadows so you can turn that off or on depending on the type of text you want you can set it to uppercase or just back to uppercase and lowercase um, then you can also adjust the duration so um, as you can see this text it appears and then it stays there for a while and then it fades out but then you can go here and select full clip duration. That means the text will be visible throughout the entire duration of this clip. Um, so you can also edit that as well. And then here style is where you decide if it's going to be default. So default for this text is in the middle of the screen. Or you can select, set it to lower thirds and that would be in the corner um, in the left. And in order to edit your text, you just tap on your text here in your viewer. Click on edit. And then type in your text. I'm just going to type in gaming, click done. And then you can also just move it around um, if you want. You can make it bigger or smaller if you want. Um, so that's how you go about adding text in iMovie um, in the plain movie section. Like I said, you have different styles here. And some of these have more styles. So for instance, if we go to the themed one here, um, you'll see you have this. But then you can also go to these three dots choose style and then you have opening middle or closing usually the themed texts have these three options so this is what opening looks like middle and then closing looks like this so you can go ahead and play around with that um, for your text so that was clips in movies now i want to cover clips in storyboards now i have a whole tutorial on how to use storyboards in iMovie so i'm not going to be covering everything um so i'll have that video also in the eye up top for you guys to go check out if you haven't really used storyboards yet um, but we're going to go ahead and go in and edit this 
So here you can see I have all my clips, um, and this clip here already has some text over it. Um, so we're going to go in here, click on Edit Clip, and here you can see the text. So I love the styles that you have in storyboards and in magic movies, just because they are a bit more modern than the traditional iMovie text that you usually have. Um, so um, this also works on themes, um, if you could call it that, or just styles. So if I have this clip here and I want to add text, all I need to do is I go to titles here and then I choose the title. So this, like I said, depends on the type of theme that you have. So this is the click theme. I'm pretty sure that's what you call it. Um, and every theme has a few sets of different types of titles that you can edit. And if you want to change your theme, you go back, you go to this icon here and then choose your style. So they have quite a few that you can choose from. You can choose which one you prefer. Um, I think some of my favorites are Notepad because just of the graphics that it has in it. Sticker book is also pretty nice. Poster is really cool. Um, and then Click is also one that I find myself going for mostly. Um, but like I said, you can choose whichever one you want. Um, and here you can um, also select the options that you want. So music, default music, um, the color of the text default. Um, so here you can see different colors. Also the font that is as set as default. So these are a few fonts that you can choose. Um, and then filter. So this is where you just set your style. Um, so if I want to use the sticker book style, say for this video, I'm going to click on done. And then again, we're going to go into edit here and then go to titles and choose the sticker book style that we want. So as you can see, this one has also different sets of types of um, text. So this is Martise, lower third, title over footage, sidebar title, list, and then also text over footage. So you can go ahead and choose the title that you want. So say I want this list title here for this clip, then I can go ahead and just set, set that. And then I can also go in and change the text here um, to set a list. The only thing you're more limited with when you use these types of titles is just the color options that you have. You don't have that many color options unless you go back to your styles area and choose some different colors here. So if you were to go with um, off-white, done. Then you'll see that also changed some of the aspects here. Um, so you can just play around with that and find the style that you like. Um, but that is also how you can add text in iMovie is using the storyboards feature and adding text that way. And then Magic Movie is basically the same as storyboards. So you also have the same types of styles that you have for storyboards, um, the same layout and the same way to go ahead and edit your clip and then edit your titles and text um, the way you like it. So that is also pretty much the same as storyboards. You just go to the title sections, edit the style um, until you have the look that you want. But yeah, that is how you add text over your videos in iMovie. It's pretty straightforward. You just have to play around with the styles and coloring and fonts um, in the available options to get the right look for yourself. But um, yeah, that is how you add text over your videos in iMovie, quick and simple. I hope this video helped you guys out and you maybe got some inspiration or learned something new. If it did, give this video a thumbs up. It really does help out a lot. And comment down below if you have any other questions or things that you're struggling with, and I'll try to reply to all your guys' comments. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other iMovie-related videos, and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!